good morning, and may the Lord bless and keep you. Let us pray. Bless now the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds, that they may be acceptable in thy sight, and glorify thee, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. The lectionary reading for today is from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 through 20, the King James Version. And he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow, and it came to pass. As he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And others fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and then brought forth some thirty, some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said unto them, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things enter in and choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. The Gospel of the Lord. Retired, I thought I might finally try some serious gardening. I've tried it over the years, sometimes successful, mostly not. Gardening can take a lot of time to plan and to work the gardens. Here in Florida, where I live, the ground is either hard as a rock, or when it rains, it becomes a swamp to drown the plants. So I've had to be very selective about where I plant everything. My banana trees drown the first year I planted them. Fortunately, the nature of the tree root system allows them to continue on. So I move them to higher ground and they are still alive. I've chosen to use raised garden beds this year using good soil and I replace them on the porch as well as on the north side of the house where they will get shade most of the day. I found that plants that are supposed to need full sun don't necessarily apply to all plants in Florida. Many of them will get fried in the heat of the Florida sun if it's for too many hours. It has been a hit and miss operation pretty much until this year. This year I am beginning to see signs of a fruitful crop of both fruits and vegetables. I have learned and yet still learning how and when and where to plant seed so that it will grow and be fruitful in my gardens. So goes the word when it is planted as a seed by sharing the gospel of Jesus with others. It can be hit and miss. If the soil is hard as a rock, it will not produce fruit. If it is sown among thorns, the thorns, the cares of the world will choke the word and it will become unfruitful. 
But you and I cannot know for sure what type of soil that the word is being planted in. So it continues to behoove us to plant, to continue sowing the seeds of hope, the seeds of life, wherever and whenever God gives us the opportunity so that all people might know the love of God through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.